Vikings take on Lee next Thursday. That's the opportunity for us to win three home games in a row. Is that something the boys are excited about? Oh yeah, really excited. I mean, um, we sort of want to make our home ground a fortress and that's something that over the past few years that we've wanted to achieve as a club. We want teams to come to our home ground and like be feel worried and we want to get some good form there. And I know this season's not been the best, but to get a good home run and good form and get a lot of crowd attendance and increasing that, getting to come to the game and stuff like that, that's what the players want. We want a good atmosphere and then hopefully we make it three out of three and then kick on for the rest of the year. We've had a weekend off from competitive action. Ted, how's training been going? Oh, uh, training's been going well. Where you get this week off where you're not playing, we can bring that intensity back into it, that proper full-on contact on contact. You don't have to try and rest bodies or be wary of how sore people are. You take it sort of back to pre-season in a way where it's going to be intense, it's going to be tough, and I think the lads are really ripping in. We've had a training session today, we've got a tough day tomorrow as well, and everyone's training hard because it obviously leaves a massive game for us, and we're looking forward to it. So we're going to try and replicate sort of a game style so we don't lose our fitness, but no, the lads are ripping in, it's going well. Jay, you played at the away game against Lee where we won. What can we take from that fixture? Oh, yeah, we can take massive. I mean, we had our backs against the wall, we were down to 30 men and it was that was just before half time and it was a real form real solid performance from the team um, we had i think eight seven or eight academy products playing as well and that was just a really good thing for the club but um we just played it simple when we were in the league we, we kicked at the right times we got the ball out and we really played league against because they want to be quite a physical team and things like that and we just need to match their intensity but then sustain it for the rest of the game so i feel like what we could take from the league game is just to be patient match their intensity and then when it's time to kick on that's what we're going to do. Ted, what do they offer as a team? Oh Lee, you, everyone that's get with Lee, they get um, aggression, they get physicality, they get a bit of ruthlessness about them, they're quite, they are the quite, quite a domineering team really, they like to dominate the field, that's their sort of game plan, they want to be the biggest pack, the pack that runs the hardest and they, they keep the rugby relatively simple, it's just that's what they did. They go for more power, and they're, they're a tough side at the moment. They have, they're coming on the back of a good win as well against Wigan, and they're going to bring quite a lot to the game. They're going to feel aggrieved from the, the home loss against us, feel like they should have won it. So it's going to be an interesting game, but hopefully, and I think we will, the lads will come on top. And finally, we've seen in recent weeks a number of injured players returning, hopefully, more of the same for the league game. How big of a boost has it been seeing these players return to the squad? Yeah, it's really good. I mean, like I said, from training today, the amount of people we actually had in the field training is a real boost for the squad. I mean, it allows us to do a lot of 11, 11, 13 against 13, left and right, and allows some of our senior players to get back in there. I mean, jo Joey's been back training today, which is a real boost for us. Obviously, we've got Tom Gilmore back, and the f honestly, the forwards pack, I, I can't even think of a forward that's injured at the minute, so the competition for places the forwards is massive. But that's what we want. We want that healthy competition, so... Uh, we can challenge for places and then everyone's on the toes now and it's not a hostile environment it's a good environment to be in because at the end of the day you know you've got to train well you've got to play well or, or else someone's going to get in that position your position in your team whereas at the start of the year we weren't relaxed but we sort of the, the bodies down and things like that so you sort of assumed you're in the team whereas now it's a completely different ball game yeah we've got like Cravens obviously back as well and even the injured lads on the fringe some of them are coming back into the frame get him into ball, more involved in the rehab, we're starting running now and I don't think it's just the league game, we're going to see bodies back in the next maybe yeah. a couple of weeks, month, we're going to see yeah. quite a few names back and as Jay said it's healthy competition for the squad and it's what Dennis, want, Dennis wants a headache when it comes to team selection and we want to be in the team so we need to keep yeah. our training up and so do the other lads.